How many do you cut up whole chickens when you cook at home? Sandy? Kristen sometimes? Yeah? It is the really the greatest thing to do because first of all, you get a properly proportioned chicken. You're getting all the pieces from the same bird. You know, secondly, you're getting a better chicken usually because you're getting the whole thing and you know what you're buying. You save a lot of money and you get closer to your food, you know? So how many of you don't do it because like you just don't want to touch it and do all that, right? Yeah. And that's a big thing, but I got to tell you, like there's such this scare that. about chicken and salmonella. Mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah, you know, you got to wash your hands and use separate boards. But other than that, you need to get close to your ingredients. You know, when you're close to your ingredients and you know how to work with them, you cook better. You know, when it's this thing that you want to get out of the way and not touch, your food will never turn out as delicious. So we're going to break this chicken down together. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we'll make the pan stuffing. Um, so who is the least comfortable with cutting up a chicken? Sure. All right, then come on over. <laughs> Take it into. Important to know about a chicken, there is really almost no wrong way to do it. I was in China last year. They took a cleaver. They whacked it in half, turned it sideways, whacked it in three more pieces, and there was bone shards and shrapnel, and it was delicious. It doesn't matter. So there's a million ways to do it. Here's the simple way I like to do it. Start off with pull the leg, and it really is like painting by numbers because they give you, the, the bird gives you its directions. You see the line? You just want to cut right into there, and then you want to pull this apart. Push your finger in there, see? So you can see where it's at. This is a really small bird, which is going to be very flavorful. The bigger the bird, the wilder the, the breasts, it's going to be less flavorful. These small birds are delicious. All right, so I'm going to cut the skin gently just so I can get in to see where the leg is, right? So I didn't go slice the because I didn't want to take a chance in the breast. I just kind of opened it up. Now, the key is I'm going to pull this back and just pop the joint out of the socket. See, now you see that joint, okay? And then by doing that, all you have to do is cut in between it and take the leg right off just by following that joint. You shouldn't be pushing hard because that means you're in the wrong place. I'm just going to check the choice, see how hot this thing is. I got chicken hands, but this is a billion degrees, so that's all burning off in the chili. We don't have to worry. All right. Okay, now on this, same thing. You've got this little line here to cheat, right? And if you feel it as well, right here, you're going to do the next one. You can feel the joint right there, and there's also that fat line, so it slides right through. Just look for that fat line, feel with your fingers, and then you go right through it. Okay, now we got our pieces. This was already rinsed, by the way, and patted dry. Super important always to rinse off whatever meat you're using, pat it dry, because then the seasoning will stick properly and you'll be searing and roasting and getting lots of flavor instead of steaming and braising. Whenever the meat's wet, you throw it on a grill or in your oven, you're gonna create a lot of steam, so you wanna dry it off. So we're gonna put those over here nice and pretty. So first thing I'm gonna do is just make a line very gently right here on top so I can feel where the breastbone is, okay? And then the second you get into it, now you wanna angle your knife and keep it against that breastbone so you know you're not cutting more meat than you need to. All right, right against that breastbone. And then as you open it up, you can start to see it. It's just like carving a turkey. And then the, you're down here, you hit that wishbone and you let the knife slide along it and that kind of is your guide to know that you're still in the right place. And then I peel it back a little bit. See, as I'm cutting, I'm just peeling it back a little bit, really gently, which is why a sharp knife is so important. See, and then I'm just staying along the bone. And now we're almost there. You can feel it coming off. And again, remember, like it doesn't matter if you practice a few times and you don't get it right, it's still perfectly edible and delicious. Now you're just doing stir fry instead of a beautiful breast. It's okay. All right? And there it is. And again, this is a huge knife, which makes it harder, but we pretty much got all the meat off the bone and whatever's left will be a good stock. 